Hi, I'm Mike Hanley with Cars.com and we're here at the Detroit Auto Show and this is the 2010 Ford Taurus. It's been redesigned for 2010 and Ford really addressed what it had to with its flagship sedan by giving it all new exterior restyling and a much improved interior that really elevates the level of the cabin in this car. The Taurus now incorporates European styling cues that Ford uses on its overseas model that they brought to the new Taurus, like this big lower bumper opening and an overall smooth face to the new car. It's a much more stylish design overall than the previous Taurus, which was often criticized for being a bland family sedan. Where the new Taurus is styling falls a little short, in my opinion, is with the rear trunk lid. It's got this forward swept design that's reminiscent of classic speedboats, but it doesn't really translate that well to the land. The Taurus is available with standard 3.5 liter V6 engine, and it can have front or all wheel drive. And Ford has said later on in the availability of this new model, buyers will get the option of Ford's EcoBoost technology, which is technology designed to boost horsepower and fuel economy as well. The area where Ford made the biggest strides with the Taurus is with its new interior. You can see here it has these upscale blue backlit gauges that are pretty appealing and also this whole new dashboard design that's a much more sleek look than the previous model had. It's got this flowing center console just comes right out in between the seats. And the Taurus is also available with paddle shifters which is an interesting feature to put on a full-size family sedan. Family sedans have to have room for the family, and in the Taurus, the back seat is pretty good size, and the seats are really comfortable and soft, but it feels like the roof's encroaching a little more on this model compared to the prior Taurus. The Taurus is also available with a number of features you'd normally associate with luxury sedans, and those include adaptive cruise control, which can vary the speed of the car based on what's in front of it, a blind spot information system to manage your blind spots to make sure the car's not creeping up next to you, and also features like serious travel link technology to stream information to your car's navigation system. So if you want to go for those extra features, you can in the Taurus without having to step up to a luxury brand. On the whole, Ford made the right changes with the new Taurus by giving it a more stylish exterior that should make it more appealing to more sedan buyers and also significantly increasing the interior quality of the car to the point that it rivals Lincoln's MKS sedan that it shares a platform with. And what's going to be even more important to family sedan buyers is that the new tour starts at just over $25,000, which is the same price point that the previous model had. For additional information on this car or any other, go to cars.com and our blog, Kicking Tires.